I have an underground electrical wire running from the breaker box to my garage. I know the breaker is good, live electrical current from the box to where the line goes underground and when it reaches the garage no current. Part of the garage breakers worked yesterday but today all is dead. Do I have to install a new underground wire, maybe a cut or something? Hello. My name is XXXXXXXXXX. I will be happy to assist you with your electrical question. My goal is to exceed your expectations on just answer. 1. I would recommend that you have a continuity meter to check the underground wiring from the house to the garage as this will determine if you have an open wire which may be the cause of the problem. If you have any splice boxes along the path, these will also need to be checked and verified for any loose or faulty splices. 2. First step will involve turning the circuit breaker to the off position. Then remove the hot wire from the circuit breaker and remove the associated white neutral wire from the main panel neutral bus bar. If the cable is an underground feeder cable, remove the bare copper ground wire from the main panel equipment ground bar. If your garage has a sub panel installed with circuit breakers, your main electrical panel will have a double pole circuit breaker feeding into the garage. If a sub panel, you will have two hots, one neutral and one ground, total of four wires feeding into a sub panel. The feeder wires connecting from the house to the garage need to be isolated at both ends with no power in order to check for continuity. 3. At the garage end, disconnect the hot power feed and neutral wire that originates from the house. Use a continuity meter to check for any open or short in the wires. With the power turned off at the main electrical panel, you can temporarily splice the hot and neutral in the garage and then use a continuity meter inside the house at the main electrical panel to determine if you have a complete path or loop. Or you can do the same from the main panel looking back towards the garage, either way will work in whatever is most convenient to you. Depending upon the results of the continuity testing, the underground wires may have an open. The continuity testing will determine this. 4. If the continuity testing proves OK, leave the garage end wires open and spread apart to as to not touch each other and cause a direct short. Turn the breaker back to the on position, then measure for voltage on the hot to neutral and the hot to ground at the garage. Both of these readings should equals 120 VAC. Also measure from neutral to ground at the garage end, this reading should measure 0 VAC. If you measure any voltage at the garage end from neutral to ground, this means you have an open neutral wire along the path. 5. Attached is a link for a continuity meter that is sold at your local Lowe's store. These are very easy to use and only one person is required. See attached link www.lowes.com slash pd underscore 25663 ct 20l underscore 0 underscore question mark product it equals 3201613 and ntt equals meter 6. In addition, you will also require a two-prong AC voltage tester or a voltmeter capable of measuring AC voltage. 7. Let me know what you find. If you run into any problems, just reply back to this question and we'll take it from there. I will be logged in slash out of this website all weekend long and I will get back to you. Thanks. Kevin. Hope this helps. If you have any additional questions, let me know and I'll be glad to answer them for you. Otherwise, don't forget to rate me before you log off. The next time you have an electrical question, you can also request for me at http colon slash www.justanswer.com slash home improvement slash expert your electrician. Thanks. Kevin. Your electrician 41426.919832395 
If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.